Welcome back. Now. Jesus. Doctor? What are you doing in here? I better take the tanker. This is our future. Think of all the lives we'll save. Put it down. Put it down. Don't come any closer. I mean it. Put it down. Put it down. Serious? Okay. No! Fucking animal! Harry, shut the hell up! Come on, baby girl. I got you. I got you. Oh shit. Human shield tactic. I killed one doctor. I mean, I could have killed all of them. Marlene's totally gonna be down here. You can't save her. Even if you get her out of here, then what? How long before she's torn to pieces by a pack of clickers? That is, if she hasn't been raped and murdered first. It ain't for you to decide. It's what she'd want. And you know it. Look. You can still the right thing here. Oh, she's totally gonna get killed. She won't feel anything. Yep. obvious. What the hell am I wearing? Just take it easy. Drugs are still wearing off. What happened? We found the fireflies. Turns out there's a whole lot more like you, really. People that are immune. It's dozens, actually. Ain't time a damn bit of good, neither. They've actually... St They've stopped looking for a cure. I'm taking this home. I'm sorry. And she's like, is that true, Joel?
Wait! Let me go! Please. You just come after her. True. Too true. Well. Is that bike getting worse? Looks like we're walking. It looked less postually. Should be a straight shot through here. It's kind of pretty, ain't it? Yeah. Alright. Now watch your head going through. Yeah. I got it. Feeling my age now. I don't think I ever told you, but uh, Sarah and I used to take hikes like this. I think, uh, I think the two of you would have been, would have been good friends. You're laying it on a little, little thick like now. <laughs> I know she'd have liked you. I bet I would have. Oh. Down there. It's Tommy's village. It's a little bit further now. My god, I hope nothing has happened. I swear to god. Here, I got you. Give me your hand. Alright, come on. Hey, wait. Back in Boston? Back when I was bitten? I wasn't alone. My best friend was there. I think that was mentioned. She got bit too. We didn't know what to do. So... She says... Let's just wait it out. You know, we can be all poetic and just lose our minds together. Right, young kids? Mm-hmm. I'm still waiting for my turn. Ellie. Her name was Riley, and she was the first to die. And then it was Tess. And then Sam. None of that is on you. You don't understand. I struggled for a long time with surviving. And you... No matter what... You keep finding something to fight for. Now, I know that's not what you want to hear right Swear now. Swear to me. Swear to me that everything that you've said about the Fireflies is true. I swear. Legit? That lie that only a parent can tell. <laughs> oh, it's so true. Oh. 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 That was some uh, dank shit. That was some uh, the dankest of dank. That was some. Um, my God. Really. It's really loud. Yay, I did it on easy. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so, um, wow, that was a super, that was an experience, wasn't it? 
I've been, uh, when the game first came out, 2013, I think, ish, maybe 2012, I don't know, but anyways, when the game came out, I saw it, I kind of put it on the back burner, everyone was praising it a lot, but to me it kind of looked like, eh, um, from what I saw, like, the only thing it had going for it was the story, and I mean, let's be honest, the only thing the game has got going for it is the story, and the story is very compelling, um, but gameplay-wise, nothing new. The, the gameplay was just there to get you <laughs> to another point in the story, and the way they wove uh, story and gameplay together um, was very nice. Um, I mean, there, they never really... Never, unless you're in the middle of combat, but when you're just walking to and fro, as it were, between one obstacle where you have to get a ladder to go, uh, go up a building to the next, they never really stopped talking. And that was really nice, it kept the flow really uninhibited. It was... There was never really a, a down moment. Um, the puzzles uh, with the get plank, put plank there, they weren't too numerous, but most of them were just like, ah, whatever. Now, if you could take those and access secret areas, which maybe you can, I don't know. Um, I mean, th this is an LP, this is not a 100% completionist. I mean, I'm not a veteran gamer. Well, I guess I am. I've played games for a long time. So, how do you define that? A veteran gamer. How many years do you have to play games to be qualified? Hmm. I don't know. That's not the point. We're talking about The Last of Us. Um, but, oh, super, a very compelling story, gotta admit. I do wish there were, there were some moments, um, they could have used some characters more. I mean, uh, Bill, man, he was good for his section, but I, I'd like to have seen more of Tommy. Um, and I'd like to have seen more of Tess. I mean, a lot of it was just like Joel has just survived. He's had his own adventures, you know, and he's, well, as he said to Tess, I've survived for 20 years. I've survived. I've done a whole lot of really dark shit. I've ambushed innocent people. I've, you know, whatever. I've killed innocent people. I've survived. Total dictatorship going on here. Um, but, I mean... Yeah, I, I, there are some... Some sh sections that could have been shortened a little bit, and some that you were that you're like, I wish I could have seen more of this. Like I wish they could have stayed at, at Tommy's place for just a day, you know, just to, you can explore some civilized society. They're just like ah, laying laying back, doing an R and R. I mean, whatever they can just talk. I don't really care. But, you know, that'd be cool. Um, they could also have made the section with the uh, Rape Man 1000. Uh, they could have made that a little longer. Look at that. The torture scene was pretty short. Uh, like a minute. Um, <laughs> no, but... um, There was also the leap in... In time, that was also very the le leap in time from like um, an example would be at the very start of the game. You um, you're going to the Capitol building, and then you see it, it's way far in the distance, and you're like, "Oh my god, it's gonna take five hours to go over here!" You know, in gameplay time, not in, not in real life. That take way longer, whatever. But um, you're like, "This is gonna be a journey." 
like the whole game is just gonna be about just going to this capital building. Um, but no, it's not. It's just like you see way far in the distance, you clear an area, and then it's like bloop, you're at the capital building, and then test dies. Um, and then you know, also the, the 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 leap in oh, it just spring summer. Bloop. Some stuff probably happened in between, and you're like, it, it, it's weird. It's it's and and in those leaps at points, that doesn't really reflect uh, Joel's and Ellie's building relationship, because it's like they've remained static for that amount of time. At least the first leap in time, I think. They like they just remain static characters, like of um, whatever, however long that is, the the, the the leap from spring to summer or, or whatever. Um, so I mean, and that's that'd be weird if they've traveled together for three months and then nothing happened. Like they haven't even gotten in an argument. They've just remained static. Um, but. I digress, you know. That's my thoughts, at least. Also, hmm. I also f find it really jarring. It, you know, you 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 feel like after Rape Man One Thousand, um, after that section is done, you do feel like the, the well, the game is just in your face about it. Just this is the last section of the game. Because it's total melancholy, right? And you're just like, hmm. I wish there was some more, you know? Just a little more padding here and there. I've already made that point, but you're just like, oh, a little bit more. Just, but but that's also a sign of you know, uh, just a compelling game. You know, you're just like, I wish there were more. And there is. There is this. Uh, side story of The Last of Us. So, I mean, I don't know how that's gonna be, but I'll definitely uh, play it. That's uh, that's definitely in the cards. So uh, we'll see if that answers some questions, uh, assuages my doubts, assuages, assuages, however you pronounce words. But, um, I've, I've really enjoyed um, uh, the base game, but I mean, it's not a, it's not a perfect game, gameplay-wise, um, but it had a really compelling story. I mean, you, you got to give credit where credit's due. It's got a compelling story, and Naughty Dog. I mean, they've they also they also made the Uncharted's. Did they make Ratchet and Clank? Or is that someone else? No, that's... That's Insomniac, I think. Wait. I don't know. I don't know what other Naughty Dog games I've played. I swear I've played... I've played Uncharted 1 and 2. And then... Obviously this now. But what other Naughty Dog games have I played? Did they make... Jack and Daxter? <laughs> I swear they either made Ratchet and Clank or Jack and Daxter. Or maybe I'm just insane. Did they make a fighting game? I don't know. But, whatever. Um, it seems like they, they've got some compelling story shit nailed down. So, I mean, next time we'll play uh, Left Behind DLC. And, um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and tune into the next.